Often when working in Adobe Illustrator and working on a project, we'll have several artboards open and available as we're working. And this happens if we are creating a variety of comps to show a client, or different versions of one item, particularly logos, often need a two-color version, a monotone version, a four-color version, reversed out, it just goes on and on. So how do you export from a variety of artboards? I'm going to show you how to export a PDF proof if you are exporting a mock-up um, for a client to review. Then we'll export a PDF of all artboards for high quality print. And finally, we'll export EPS files as separate files with the type outlined as if we wanted to have in stock print versions, print ready versions of the various artboards. So in this simple example I have three versions of a logo. I've got a two color version, I've got a four color process, and one that's set for how it would be shown in reverse. And I want to send this as a proof to a client. In order to do this I'm going to export a PDF for a relatively small size so I can share it via email. So I'm going to go File, Save a Copy. I'm going to choose under Save a Copy, Adobe PDF. And I want to export all three of the artboards. So I'll hit Save. And in this, I have a lot of options available to me. Um, I want this particular proof to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to use JPEG compression. So if I choose smallest file size, and then I go into compression, I can choose the level of compression I want. By default, the compression level is set for low in grayscale as well as color bitmap images. So I am going to actually choose high because I want a little bit higher quality in the JPEGs in my PDF. Um, I could have set maximum, but high is usually, it's usually a pretty good amount, I've noticed. Um, the compression's not too much, but it's enough to make the file size at least workable via email. And once I'm happy with that, I will click Save PDF. That's fine. I've got a little warning here saving that saying to me that Preserve Illustrator editing ca capabilities is turned off. And that's okay because this is a proof for a client and I don't really want them editing this PDF anyway, so I click OK. It exports all three of the artboards. And then if I bring Acrobat up, I can browse some files that I'm currently working on and then I can find the copy that I just created and you can see that it's only 190 kilobits. So that is a really small file size but good enough for a proof. So I'm happy with that. Going back to Illustrator, I'm now going to export a PDF for high quality print. I would use this type of PDF export if I wanted to um, send it to my from my laptop to my home system and print it out using my my high quality inkjet at home. So I can do that using same process. I could save a copy or I could do save as. Either will work. I'm in the habit of saving a copy so I don't overwrite anything that I've previously been working on. So I'm going to choose PDF and I'm going to just rename this um, test print. Click on save and I'm going to use the range of all artboards. Brings up my options. I'm going to choose high quality print and this is suitable for printing on you know relatively high-end inkjet printers and the like, laser jets if you've got them. Save PDF. 
So again, it exported all three artboards and I can now print up some comps as well to share with the clients and they'll be relatively high quality. So that's a little bit of my workflow, the difference between something that I'm going to send via email versus something that I'm going to mock up and show comps in person that I'm actually going to print out. Now, let's say that the client has approved all of this art and we're ready now to export these individually as EPS for our files. The first thing that I need to do is I'm going to outline the type because we're not sure where we're going to be sending these EPS files. These EPS files are intended to be used in a variety of different places. The two color might go to um, you know, a t-shirt company. The four color process might be used on posters. The reversed out could be used in a, a number of different things like stickers to go on a car. Lots of different options. So knowing that there's many options and many places these EPS files are going to land, it's important that I outline the type. Now you can see if we zoom in that this type has already been outlined because this type had to be tweaked and adjusted a little bit to get the shapes correct. So I don't need to worry about the primary type in the middle and you can tell that it's already outlined because as I roll over they're highlighting in blue. So Illustrator already sees these as vector shapes. I just need to choose the additional type and I can do this by zooming out and selecting all of that additional type. By holding my shift key down and my selection tool, I select that additional type. I will go to Type, Create Outlines. The other thing I'm going to do is the reversed out. You often provide the file, but you don't provide the the dark background. The dark background was just for us to look at and see how the colors would pop on a dark background so I can delete that as well. Now the interesting thing about that is everything that's white is is not something that we can see visibly but if you roll over you can see that they are there. So this one is going to be a little bit different when it's it's a little bit weird when it's opened up but all of the information is still there. Now I'm going to export each one of these individually. So I will go to File, Save a Copy. I'm going to choose under this selection menu, Illustrator EPS. Now in this case I'm going to use my artboards but I don't want to use all. I want to use a range. So this first one is the two color version, the one on the left. So with, the, with that in mind, I'm going to change the name of this file to to color. And it's going to export artboard number one. Click Save. Now I get different kinds of options. I'm in the habit of choosing a couple versions back just in case the printer or whoever gets this file hasn't updated their software. And I don't need to worry about embed fonts because there are uh, note typefaces used in this case, so I don't necessarily have to worry about that because I've already outlined the type. And I'm going to leave it as CMYK postscript file in RGBs for just leave that as a general option. Those are kind of the stock options that come with Illustrator. Now I do get a warning saying that saving to a legacy format may cause some changes. And what that warning is, which is at the very bottom of this panel, is letting me know that if I used any effects that were significant and something only available on a later version of Illustrator, like in this case I was working in CS6, and I would have to be aware that I would lose some of those effects, but I'm not using any special effects for this two color version. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click OK. And I get that same warning about saving to a legacy format may cause some changes, but I don't need to worry about that because I wasn't using any special effects. So I'm going to click OK. 
Next, I want to export this four color version. So this is intended for four color CMYK process printing. I'm going to go File, Save a Copy, Same Process. I'm going to choose Illustrator EPS. Using the artboards, I'm going to choose number two and rename this one to four color or four C and click on save. Same options as before. It's going to give me the same warnings. I click OK. Yes, we know that it may cause some changes to the text layout, but I am not using anything in particular that's weird, unusual, or special, and I've already outlined my type, so I'm going to click OK and let it happen. And then finally, the third version is the reversed out. So, file, save a copy, Illustrator EPS, using the artboards, I'm going to export artboard number three, and this one we're going to rename to reversed, and hit save. Same options as before, click OK. Same warnings as before, click OK. So that was a fairly lengthy explanation of something that's a pretty routine and standard procedure. So I now can navigate to my local file and take a look and you can see that I've got the four color version, the two color version, the reversed out, I've got a test print that I can use for presentation and I also had the original smaller PDF that I could share via email and I might even rename that if I wanted to make it a little more clear to myself for later use that this is the version that can be easily emailed and shared with the client and that's it that's how I export and use a number of artboards I hope this helps you with your workflow and gives you some ideas going forward as well.